Well, the pediatric ward at Harlem Hospital was transformed into a magic land filled with fairies today. Dancers from the Joffrey Ballet performed for the young patients who were there this afternoon. They broke into small groups and to entertain the kids at their bedside. And the kids who were well enough to get up and became part of the performance today. The effort was to put smiles on the children's faces. It was a collaboration between the ballet school and the charity Crafting for a Cure. For a split second, even a millisecond, they forgot why or where they were. So, I mean, that's the best feeling I guess anyone can have. Being able to go to a hospital and actually do some good without being a doctor is overall making me happy. And as a ballet dancer, I believe we get to be fairies, witches, cats, dogs, and anything you want to dream of. So when we go there, we're actually the people who can make other people happy. And it gives me another happy feeling. So I feel like this is a positive t chance that we could all have and we should all have it. My name is El Jurala and uh, I'm the artistic director of Joffrey Ballet School Trainee Program. Um, a very close person who died three, three years ago from the cancer and uh, that's my, my uh, sister-in-law. And I visit her in the hospital uh, for maybe a week and um, she is also a ballerina just a finished nutcracker and uh, two weeks after nutcracker in December she went to hospital and she never came back home. So I was dreaming that some miracle would happen for her and uh, I would see kids walking in her, you know, um, hospital room and they do some beautiful movement because she was an amazing teacher and an amazing dancer. We granted a wish to a boy who had a terminally ill disease called Hunter syndrome and um, th those are the hardest times those are truly the hardest times because sometimes you see sometimes you feel you f you feel a lot and it's and it's really hard when when you have to perform and you know what you know what these children are going through and it can be very difficult to put on a smile and say everything's okay and and that's why it brings so much joy to me when I can take away their pain because because it's so hard and I think the hardest part is watching the parents because the parents know exactly what's going on and sometimes the child doesn't that's why we do what we do because knowing that you did something like that is just it's it's speech I'm speechless I every time and if I can just give a couple hours of my day and go into a hospital and dance with a little girl or a little boy or even a mom and it makes their day and it and it makes them happy and it, and it makes them forget even if it's just for a split second that they're happy and that and that they forget that they're sick it's just such an incredible experience and it's uplifting and and it may make the child's day and it, it can make the parent happy, but it also makes my day because I'm sharing my feeling of being free and my feeling of being happy with others. I've been surprised and just amazed by the response, especially with the ballerinas program. Um, even when we have babies younger than a, a week old, we have the moms and dads come out to the hallway and watch the ballerinas' performance. and. You can just tell how touching it is for them and they bring tears to their eyes and to the staff as well. What is Smiles for All? Smiles for All is great. It's ballerinas. <laughs> there it is. That's it. See, I made you smile. Uh, this is our ballerina program, which pretty much is self-explanatory. They, they dance and twirl, as I like to say, one pirouette at a time. I'm coining Susan Hayes' quote one pirouette at a time bringing a smile for all and they do that literally they'll dance in emergency rooms private rooms OR recovery rooms pre-OR 
They're taken pretty much throughout the hospitals just to dance and twirl because there's something pretty magical when a ballerina goes into a hospital and uh, twirls. <laughs> <laughs>